Welcome to a Maritime Foam Fireside Chat out here on my deck, a beautiful September evening. I thought, uh, since it's been uh, a few days since my last ramble and I've been busy working on a few Etsy orders, that I would hop on and talk about something. I was actually going to talk about uh, some gameplay stuff, but that thought got preempted by noticing a post that uh, Beret.narf on YouTube have posted on Instagram just uh, around blending in with the trolls on a post. And I sent a note saying, oh, who's, who, whose post is, is that with all the awful comments? And he mentioned it was from an out of darts TikTok post. I'm like, oh, of course, all the worst comments are from, from TikTok. They really are because you, at least on YouTube and on other platforms, probably people who are interested have found it or who are at least adjacent to some sort of hobby but on TikTok you're really getting you're really getting just like scrolling by the masses so you just get a lot of people who've never even heard tell of something like that and and uh, and a lot of people whose instinct is to be like what's that you're weird um yeah otherwise known as trolls but TikTok is especially rampant for trolls and that kind of just made me think about some of my experience with trolls. Uh, I d definitely, I hate to see it on anyone's videos, to, to be honest. I mean, I know for me, I'm 45, almost 46. And even though most of those troll comments are either super uneducated comments, or I know that there's like a child behind them, or I know that there's a severely unhappy person behind them, it's hard to not get worked up sometimes or get angry because you're when you're putting your stuff out there you're, you're kind of putting a little part of you out there you know it's uh yeah it's, it's I don't know if I want to go into the debate of calling it art but when you're putting out a video or something you, you certainly you're putting out something you care about you want people to see it you know you keep an eye out and you see like oh did, did the you know uh, the people who usually comment comment did anyone new comment they won't have any kind of interesting counterpoints and stuff. But when you just get that troll comment, it's just, it's disheartening. And even though the best advice there is, is to don't feed the trolls. That's a Captain Xavier quote. Uh, and I'm sure others have said it too. I usually don't. It's best to just get right, like just delete, hide those comments. You know, you're, we're, we're not journalists. We're not obligated to keep our, to keep, crappy comments up you know if it's a comment on a video kind of disagreeing with kind of how i did something or pointing at a mistake I, I don't mean that like that's even if someone's kind of rude about a correction i wouldn't consider that trolling trolling is when people are literally just being mean to be mean or you know uh <laughs> i would consider people who are like just play airsoft bro or just play paintball bro I would definitely consider that trolling. And I know that's kind of a, that's a nerf hobbyist troll cliche. And I'm sure RC hobbyists, RC car hobbyists probably get, get a real car, bro. And it's, t it's telling that all of the awful trolls say, bro, I, I think that lends, I think that lends credence to the fact that they're very young. At least I hope so. I, I hope that it's, kind of young kids who don't know any better uh who are you know the equivalent of prank calling and hopefully they grow up to be better um i'm sure some of those people are adults and that's horrifying uh but anyway rc car people i'm sure have like get a real car people who you know fly ultralights probably get fly wait till this guy hears about real planes i'm sure no matter what you're passionate about trolls exist they're a part of internet life and you can't just turn off all the comments because that's a lot of the fun is is the interaction and the feedback but boy it is an it is uh, again i think you know for trolls it's either how i kind of rationalize it in my head anyway is to kind of keep myself calm or keep myself from reacting not that i never have and anytime i have reacted to a troll or been kind of like spoken in anger about something i immediately regret it like without bail i never am like now i feel better it's just i never never ever do so i just try not to comment but trolls are either as i said they're either kids they're either like just you know 
unhappy people who maybe who maybe just wish that they had something to be that passionate about or maybe circumstances in life they're not able to have maybe there's just I mean, I, I think there are hobbies you can have without money, but like, it'd be pretty elitist to be like, you can have a hobby if you're, if you're broke. I mean, it, it, there are people out there who would not have the means or time for hobbies. I, I'm sure they're just struggling to make ends meet. So I, it, I wouldn't say that, but yeah. So, I mean, I think there's that. And then I just think there is just like, just just awful people awful people who had awful parents who had awful grandparents and they're just a line of just shitty people uh just down through the ages uh i always say whenever whenever there's drama with my daughter at school around like some kid who's like a repeat offend you know a repeat offender of some you know being mean or or hitting or something like that and it's like oh, behind every behind every you know misbehaving kid is just probably <laughs> probably a parent that you just would not like um not in all cases i'm generalizing that's what the fireside chats are here for trolls i was talking about trolls and it anyway so i mean i guess part of why it upsets me too is as i mentioned like i feel like i'm stable enough to handle the trolling uh, confident enough at my age, like I have a career, like I'm, I'm happy enough. I have, I have friends, a relationship, thing, things are good. It just makes me a little angry when, especially when trolls are really vicious and they go in on someone's, I haven't had much of this, but like a tiny bit, if they go in on like physical appearance or like some, you know, maybe just going after someone's insecurity. It's one thing to be like, play airsoft, bro. It's another thing to be like, you're, you're fat and ugly and you're going to die, you know, or that in so many words, like to me, you know, the first one's kind of forgivable out of ignorance, like whatever, you should know better. Maybe someday you will. The second one for me is, it's disturbing. It's like that comment is, ah, it's probably hurting my feelings too, but like to maybe a younger kid, kid who's on youtube or someone who maybe isn't lucky enough to have a good strong circle of friends or something comments like that can just be devastating and like you you're not just making an anonymous comment you're you're actually making someone's life worse like oh maybe a lot worse uh, maybe you're actually ending up causing them harm or causing them to cause themselves harm so that that level of trolling i just have no empathy for like I, I i at all it's just it's that that those kind of things are you know if i if i do get one of those those are just immediately kind of discarded but boy it's hard not to just be like you're an awful person <laughs> before you do um yeah no it's it's a shame it's a shame that even in things that we had give us so much joy when you put yourself out there, there's just always going to be that crap. So I don't know if you're, if you're watching this and you're someone who's like quick to tear something down, or maybe you don't like someone's review or something, just like, just take a beat, like make sure, share your criticism. Sure. But just be nice about it. I don't know. Like I even think that extends to when you're talking about, I don't know when you're talking about brands and stuff too. And if you really don't like something like, I don't know. There's human beings behind all of that stuff. And maybe you'll see it. <laughs> and I don't know. It's not fun to be mean. I don't think. Um, <laughs> does that mean I'm never mean? No, it does not. But I try not to be. And I definitely try not to be <laughs> mean to random people on the internet who might just be stewing about it. Someone was screaming on the street. Uh, you got to love uptown living. Are they screaming at me to stop recording? No, I don't, I don't think so. I think they're screaming, don't call the cops. Uh, should I call the cops? I'll keep listening. Um, the only other thing I was gonna kind of cap this off uh, as is, you know, the other thing that people who do this trolling are, is I firmly believe they are the same people 
who say what I think is one of the most annoying phrases that there is when you show someone something that you're proud of or something cool or maybe something you do for your hobby or whatever and they say someone has too much time on their hands that is that is the worst like I feel like that's something that older people just you know they said you know maybe it just comes from they just didn't have the time or it just wasn't socially acceptable for them to do some of the hobby things that I would do at my age so I, I kind of try to give it a little bit of a pass if it's someone older, if it really feels like it's not that ill-intended. But I've called people out before who have, who have said that phrase. I'm just like, you're, you're basically saying, maybe I've called it out in a more like diplomatic way to not like, <laughs> not make everything super awkward. Um, but like, you're basically calling people out and saying, hey, what you're excited to show me I'm saying to your face, you probably should have been doing something else. Like that's, that's crazy. Like none of us, we wouldn't usually say that, that directly to be mean. So why say it in a passive aggressive way to be mean? Yeah, that is a, that is a statement I have never liked. Even when I was a little kid, I knew that is not, that doesn't feel like a good thing to say to somebody. Uh, and it's definitely something I, to my knowledge, have never ever 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 said uh, and like these are the same people who like you know will get home from work and want, maybe they'll watch like four hours of sports <laughs> or maybe they'll watch a bunch of reality tv and it's like for some reason that's okay but building like some foam robot armor <laughs> or like some sort of nerf thing in your basement uh is like less value than that i don't know that stuff drives me crazy I'm already at 12 minutes. I feel like this one got just as rambly as every other one, but I mean, that's kind of what these are, I guess. Um, yeah, so I don't know, just trolls. I, I hate to see it. Uh, you know, I see poor, poor, poor uh, you know, I see out of darts there, you know, they're, they're answering all the reasonable questions with, uh, you know, with fair responses, but just, man, it's a, it's, it can be a, it can feel like a losing tide. It's kind of why I don't really engage very much on TikTok at all anymore. Um, when people comment, a lot of times I don't even see it. I just don't check the comments. I don't even post there that much. That's for some other reasons too. Just my content doesn't get any engagement anymore. I had growth, 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 and then just flatline. Uh, my content always outperforms on YouTube, even though it's, uh, I have way less subscribers. I, I really need to do that analytics uh, peek behind the curtain on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, which I will do. And I'll, that won't be like a casual one. I'll, that'll be a real video because I think uh, it'll need graphics and I'll want to show you guys screens and screenshots and stuff. But so yeah, back to trolling. I guess if you're seeing this, <laughs> there's no way if you're a frequent troller, you're seeing the end of this video. But if you are, I don't know, even if you're not a frequent troller, just I don't know, be nice. Be nice to everybody. We're all just generally just trying to share what we're excited about on the interwebs. Uh, yeah, I'm sure as soon as I close this video, I'll think of something else that I meant to say, but it doesn't really matter. All right, I gotta go see if I gotta call the cops. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to say. The tricky counterpoint to that is, if your comment is maybe a little mean, but really funny, you might get a pass. That's the wild social dynamics of uh, being a human on the internet.